Hey, Mike. Hey, man, what's up? It's that time of year. I think we missed last year, though. Did we? Uh, we have them, but we didn't do them. Yeah. But it's sexual chocolate time. It Bourbon. Sexual chocolate. Barrel-aged sexual chocolate. So for those who don't know, this is too. by... What'd you say? I thought I guess I could do that, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Foothills Brewing. They're out of North Carolina. Um, they make a, an imperial stout called sexual chocolate that uh, our buddy Larry has been sending us for many, many years now. Every time they they, they do a release of the regular the bourbon barrel aged, they have coffee infused bourbon barrel aged too. Um, just we just love this beer. Traditionally, anyway. Traditionally, <laughs> you can't win them all. You can't win them all. Do you recall one we had? I think maybe last year or the year before. Yes. Remember, we did not like it. Remember that it was like a decade and a half old? <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought you meant like one of the, the newer batches because there wasn't a, a newer batch that was kind of meh. But I guess meh compared to like, if I'm comparing it to what I mean. But yes, no, I remember that one. I remember we were so hyped for that, so excited. We're like, okay, it's going to be like 10 years old. It's going to be amazing. It was like, this is yeah. trash. Yeah, this is like cardboard and, and piss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All right. So, I mean, it looks like sexual chocolate, which is like a generally like a thinner stout. You know, it's, it's virtually pitch black and uh, no lingering head. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm swirling and I'm still not getting much head. It's like a little bit and then it goes away very, very fast. Yeah. It's like going on a date in high school. Anyway. I don't really go on dates in high school. I didn't go on many. <laughs> well, I had, I had girlfriends, but I never like went on date dates. You know what I mean? Like I never was like, let's go on a date. Uh, I guess so. All right. Uh, let's give notes. Let's do it. <laughs> That was like a chocolate cake, right? Like, yeah, fudge brownies. <laughs> totally fudge brownie. A little bit of German chocolate cake. It's almost like a like a cherry sweetness. Or I'm just ma maybe I'm imagining that. No, I can see that. It, there, there is some like like um like dark cherry kind of a, a note. Um, I mean, really dark fruit anyway. You, uh, it's almost you can almost get like um almost like boysenberry in there too. Berry, big or, time. Like, or like blackberries and stuff. You know what I mean? It's it's yep. very much like dark, dark fruit. Um, Molasses, burnt sugar. Oh yeah, there's yeah, a little bit no oakiness too from the barrel. I don't think I never noticed the like. The, they definitely changed the 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 label the last few years. Yeah. Um I don't think I ever realized what it was. I thought it was just a splashing head. Did you ever look at it? You. Or, or am I just blind? Do you see what it is? That's two it's people two... in a... Yeah, I never noticed it. I never... <laughs> yeah. Two people making out. Well, that... Which makes sense, I mean, given the term. But I just never it noticed might it. Be, it might be more than just that, so though. I, oh, I, yeah. I'm, I'm assuming they're doing more than just that inside the beer, if, if, if they're swimming in a giant vat of beer. Well, because it's showing the splashing liquids and stuff. Oh, that too. Oh, all those innuendos. All those innuendos. This beer is feisty. <laughs> this is no longer. This is no longer a uh, a, a children's show like we always thought it was. It's funny because like this label is probably a little more provocative than the last label. Oh yeah, maybe. Like, it, like if you dig deep into the meaning of this label, it's probably a little bit more. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Want to taste it? Um, let's do it. Cheers. Clink. We have the same. Oh, I. <laughs> I have to go so far. No, wait, I'm going the wrong way. What am I doing? Why can't no, I get no, this you went the right way. But I got to go very far. I can't really. Yeah. I got to go really far. Okay, I'm going to up. Oh, that's yummy. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. The mouthfeel. So yummy. The mouthfeel starts kind of really syrupy, but then it gets to, then it like morphs into this creaminess. It does, yeah. And, and when you first, first into your mouth it is actually thinner than you think it's going to be mm -hmm. it, no i mean i it, it mean it's it's thinish but then it just sort of it gets so it, it does morph in, uh across the palate yeah it kind of um 
like like if you um sw- swish like hydrogen peroxide around your mouth like not that same feeling but you know how when you get it in your mouth and it kind of and, and, and the chemical reaction causes like kind of like bubble up and stuff this kind of has that yep. similar vein of that i think it's also like it's quite warm out i took this from the fridge but it's already perfect temperature it's it's uh warmed up considerably but obviously like whether it's like you know 50 degrees or not yeah you know your your mouth is closer to 100 degrees so it does there is a reaction for sure but it's gorgeous it's gorgeous yeah i mean i feel like i've gotten more syrupy chocolate in the past than i am Mm -hmm. here but that's that's for the betterment um i am getting a lot more of the barrel i'm getting a lot more of the of that that rich rich um malt i'm getting yeah. um i'm getting nice amounts of, of dark fruit i'm getting a, a hint just a just a small hint of that bourbon booziness i i am getting those chocolate notes i am getting just almost like a hint of um coconut as well i mean sean this is this is ridiculous mm-hmm. and there's like that that like the molasses caramel burnt burnt sugar note that kind of goes across the palate it gives this like rosiness and then as i was talking earlier i could just i'm just getting this like like a like 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 a caramel chew, with like roast. Yeah, yeah. This is. Yeah, I, I'm on, honestly that, that burnt sugar. It's it's almost reminiscent of like that little bit of um, like it um. Like a creme brulee, the top of a creme brulee. Yes, you know. Percent. Yep. Um, what I, I like that this isn't sweet. You know oh, what yeah, I mean? No. Like, it's not. I and I, I feel I've had. I mean, I've always enjoyed them, but I feel like sometimes they're a little sweet. This is not. This is a nice, chocolatey, but this is a stout first. One hundred percent. You know, this is this 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 tastes like beer. You know what I mean? It's, it yeah. doesn't taste like a dessert. It has those notes, but it is first and foremost a barrel aged stout. One hundred percent. It's there's something about this that for the fact that it's also nine point six percent, it drinks a little bigger. Like, cause you get most barrel aged Imperial stouts that are like, you know, 10 plus sometimes 11, right. Sometimes 12. And for something that's 9.6%, I'm, 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 I'm not saying this is like a sessionable bourbon barrel aged beer, but it's like lower than average. Right. Oh yeah. But it's, I, I, I really like it. I, I I'm really into th- I this it. thinness and I, and every time I have, every time I pour it, I'm like, Oh man, but I always enjoy it. But I, I think I'm honestly, the, the body of this is exactly what I'm looking for in this time, especially you know, a lot of people don't look at warm weather as stout time. I don't give a crap, but no, this is perfect. But I, I, I do just get like, drink it. just like, oh yeah, to keep going back. Yeah, oh, I I poured basically my whole bottle in here, and I've been I've been sucking it down. I told Carrie I'd save her some, but I don't know if she'd even appreciate this. <laughs> I mean, uh, the problem here though is that it's so quaffable. It's so easy to drink. It's very approachable. Yeah, it's no bolt, no nonsense, chocolatey, boozy, not overly boozy, roasty, toasty, just no bullshit stout. Yeah, it's weird. I, I find it to be like I could just drain it, you know, because it is, is so it's so easy to drink. So you'd think like so. So, so there, this this isn't like an adjunct. This isn't necessarily an adjunct free no bullshit stout. So they are putting cocoa in it. But, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But it it's, said it just it, it doesn't taste like. A dessert stout, which, which some of you consider like sexual right. chocolate, and and so, some of these are quite syrupy and sweet. This one's not. No. Yeah, I love it. Down in the comments, if anyone's got it, got got their hands on this year's sexual chocolate, the bourbon barrel aged variant of sexual chocolate that came out in this was bottled in November. It's now uh, April. Um, what do you think of what do you think of sexual chocolate in general? Um, what's your favorite year? If you had one that's ten years, that was great. Good for you if you did. <laughs> Uh, but I, but I'm looking for I, every year. I I look forward to this. And now they're bottle. I think they're bottling and, and canning it. No longer bombers. But um, yeah. Down in the comments, let us know. I don't forget to check out nerdsense.net from there. All of our social media spots: Twitter, Untapped, Facebook. I don't know. Why I did that in a weird order. Uh, yes, that does bring up a good thing, though. I love that this is in a, a, a twelve ounce bottle. Same, same. Like the bombers were great. But then it would be very hard for us to do those, to get two bombers, and then if we did them together, we'd have to split it. But yeah, this this makes remote remote reviews much easier. I think yeah, I think they're either cans or or, or bottles now, so it's, it's perfect. Yep. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Always hit those notification bells. And I'm Sean. That's Mike. This is Nerd Sense. Cheers. Oh yeah, thanks, Larry. <laughs> oh yeah. Or did John get me this? Thanks to one of you who got me this. <laughs> <laughs>